In this video, I just want to go over um, how you would fix the tiling on a uh, roof in Lumion. So there is actually quite a few ways of doing this. So I'm going to go through all the ways that I know of. Um, some ways are easier than others. I guess it just kind of depends on, you know, um, the scene that you're working on. So hope you enjoy the video and I hope you learned something. Right, so there, this is actually kind of a cool video because there is quite a few things I'm going to be going over that, you know, while they're not massive um, kind of knowledge bombs, like they are very helpful little tips. Uh, and I actually even learned a couple about uh, SketchUp to Lumion myself while I was making this. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to, uh, we're just going to put a texture on here. Now, when I was first recording this, I actually made a mistake by using this texture. I don't recommend you use this texture inside of SketchUp and I'm going to show you why. So right off the bat, this looks fine. Like this looks pretty good. Um, you know, the tiles are facing the right direction. They look like to be the right size. So I'm just going to save that quickly and I'm going to go into Lumion. So as I said, this looks okay. You know, it's, um, there's no definition. There's no normal map or anything. So it's not usable in a render, but it does, it is going in the right direction. So let's see what happens when we throw on a roofing map. Okay. So the... The t like the shingle size is correct here. It looks to be like a reasonable amount, but the problem is they're in the, the wrong direction. So let's see what happens if I change the heading. And as you can see, all of the faces are moving together. So if you fix one, the other ones get messed up. Um, so the reason why this is, is because the map scale is set to custom. So Lumion automatically unwraps something uh, when you place this kind of material on it. Um, and, you know, for some things like couches, you know, you can normally get away with it. Um, I don't recommend you use it for things like hardwood floor because it will just continue the tiling pattern. So what you can do, and I'm about to show you why you shouldn't use that particular SketchUp texture, map scale imported. So as you can see, this is all like stretched and weird. And I was kind of like, you know, why did this happen? Like, this is really weird. Um, and it's because if you look at the SketchUp texture here, this is rectangular. Like the aspect ratio of it's like, you know, three or something like that. So if we... Oops, if we click on this and go like that, um, since this is square or, you know, close enough to square, um, then it will uh, actually get fixed inside of Lumion. So let's do the roofing. And right, so then this is not the correct thing. So we have to make this into a map scale imported. Okay, so now the, uh, the directions are right, even though we're just using the SketchUp you know, material, but the size isn't right. Now, this is the part where you have a couple of options on what you can do. Uh, one of them is you come into SketchUp, you go edit, take this and say, th these are locked. So this bottom one will automatically change. So if it's two, so let's make it four times bigger. We're going to make that eight hit, uh, just enter that in, go back to Lumion. And then now the, uh, the sizes are correct and the directions correct. So that is kind of like the first way of doing it. Um, this is a pretty easy way. You know, if you just have one texture on, you can adjust it like this. It's extremely important the map scale is set to imported though. Um, a lot of people that use Lumion don't really understand UV unwrapping and it's completely fair because I didn't until I started using Blender uh, because SketchUp is not really necessary to do it. But it's extremely important for Lumion because um, Lumion does a great job at taking in the textures and then like, because you can make textures go in any direction you want inside of Lumion. But if you use the map scale, Lumion will do its best to unwrap it and it will mess it up because then it overrides all those values. Um, so yeah, the map scale imported, it's not always the thing to use, but if you are like, you know, if you are actively unwrapping things uh, or even like if the texture looks like it's the right direction in your model, then that's kind of what you have to do. Um, so I'm going to show you the second way of fixing this. Um, what I actually did until recently, I just found out this method. So I would actually put every single face that is looking at one direction as a different material. So um, if I had like another like ledge over here or another, um, another roof over here, and these were kind of like facing the same way, I'd put that there. But then you just go like this. And then this, this part doesn't really matter too much. You can name them like roof or whatever. Um, but this way, uh, when you're kind of going through your file, you can see that they're supposed to be the same material, uh, but now they're all treated as different material IDs. So what I can do is I'll just copy that material, uh, standard, paste material. And then for this one, I am actually just going to use the custom scale. 
Um, so that looks to be good. And then I'm going to copy this one. Actually, I'm just going to go in here, paste, and then that's messed up. So we just go heading, change it standard paste material. Uh, and then, so this one should be 270. And then right here, I'm going to paste another one. And this one, yeah, 180. Right, so then that's another way that we can kind of do it. The only downside of this is that if you have to adjust it, you know, you have to come in and do this for all of them. So you could come in here, and since you can type in values now in Lumion, and just be like, oops. Uh, well, it didn't seem like it actually really changed it that much, but when you type it in. And then, yeah, so I do wish that there was a way you could link materials in Lumion. It would make things a little bit faster. Um, but just to, like, those are the easiest ways to do it from SketchUp. So I figured that that is kind of where a lot of you would kind of stop but there is something that i wanted to show you um that is pretty cool so i'll just save this i'm going to import this into blender um and even if you're not a blender user this might be kind of a helpful thing to watch um so i'm going to import a sketchup scene and then i'm going to go into material preview right so um okay, actually what i'm going to do is this I'm going to delete the materials here just so there's only one material, like basically just as an example. See, they're all the same material now. Um, right. So I'm just going to do tries to quads and then limited dissolve. Um, that just cleans up the mesh a little bit. And then I'm going to, and again, if you don't know what I'm doing, that's not, uh, it's not too big of a deal. I will just throw this on. Uh, actually, I'll not going to bother. Um, right. So if I grab these and then I'll hit unwrap, if I go to UV editing, so this is kind of how it's like unwrapped. Um, and what that basically means is like, I can adjust how this particular face looks. So if I drag this up, as you can see, like that, the texture is moving and let's do something that's a little different just because I want you to be able to kind of see. So I'm going to make this one extremely small. Uh, I'm going to leave this one as big. And then I'll make this one small as well, like that. Right, so I'm gonna import this into Lumion and I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm talking about because I think this is a better um, kind of like example of how this works. So I'm just gonna go export FBX, house test. Um, and yeah, so just to kind of, so these ones are gonna be really big and they're gonna be facing kind of like away from the camera. These ones are gonna be facing the right way but they're really small. Uh, and this one's going to be really big facing the right way. And this one's going to be medium size facing down. So let's see if we can bring that same thing into, uh, into Lumion. So I'm going to go import, uh, house test. What is this? Okay. I'm going to try that again. I have no idea what that was. Oh, select file, the preview. How do you. That's weird. I don't know how I turned that on. I've never seen that before. Um, right. So even though this doesn't come in with any uh, textures like that, it doesn't really matter because the only thing I wanted was the UV uh, unwrapping. So I'm going to go to outdoor. I'll put these on now right off the bat, kind of back to where we were because, you know, the map scale. So let's bring this way down. Then as you can see, so this, if I put it in kind of the same spot, so this is a, a fairly big, uh, shingle size and it's facing away from the camera. That's what we see here. Uh, this one is supposed to be small in the right direction. Okay. So that looks good. Um, and then this one over here, that's going to be a big one with, uh, facing the right direction. Okay. So we see that there. And then this one is a smaller one that is upside down, which is, uh, what we see here. So, yeah, that's why it's kind of important to kind of understand this because, um, as a, like when I was only using SketchUp for Lumion, you don't realize how limited your tools kind of are. Like you can do this stuff in uh, SketchUp, but I feel like you probably don't, um, because it's something that unless you're really going out of your way to learn, uh, I find that you don't really pick it up, which is kind of one of the problems that I've been saying is with like SketchUp to Lumion is because Lumion does a really good job at kind of simplifying things. But the problem is, is that it simplifies things in a way that like, if you don't already know, uh, kind of what that is, you're probably not going to learn it through Lumion. 
Um, which yeah, that's, it's good and bad because for beginners, um, it makes things a lot easier, but it kind of stunts your growth in a way because you need something to happen, but you don't, you haven't really been taught or kind of trained how to fix that. Um, whereas in blender and 3ds max thing like that, you learn this stuff pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, that, that's something I just kind of wanted to go over because this is actually really important for getting things to look, uh, in the correct way. So yeah, hopefully um, this video was helpful to some people. Uh, I know it was kind of a boring one, but this is probably one of the more helpful videos um, that you can watch, especially if you're a SketchUp user. Um, just when it comes to like how, how to make your materials look correct, um, because in Lumion, you don't want to just throw one of these tile materials on because it will not look correct right off the bat. You got to use this, uh, the imported thing. Um, so yeah, if you did find the video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop me a like uh, and maybe a comment below telling me that you really enjoyed the video. Uh, seeing those comments always motivate me to make more videos um, and it's really helpful. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you could help me with that algorithm uh, and uh, click the subscribe button and also ring the bell. If you are subscribed, thank you very much for continuing to check out my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good weekend.